Hello and welcome back. This is Tim. Uh, this is the uh, Holocrafters that I said that I would align once I got the, uh, the the vacuum tube, the 6SK7, which I got and I replaced. So what I want to try now is some alignment activity here and somewhere I have placed the alignment instructions. Let's see if I put them right over here. I have the uh, the bad dog down with me, so I may have to stop periodically to change things or set him on the right path. Stop licking the camera. Okay. Uh, in any event, I'm going to use the uh, the old heat kit uh, V7A. Stop. Now the dog's eating thing. Uh, to try and. Do as much of this alignment as I can. Uh, the first part of the alignment is uh, is going to be to set up the uh, the IF stages. So uh, let's see. It says that uh, no signal from the antenna, and it doesn't really tell me where to tune it. But it says put the band switch on one. A received dial setting 1000 kilocycles or 1 megacycles. So let's see, where's the one? The one's the guy in the middle. So there's 1.1, there's 0.9. So I'm assuming that's megacycles. Yes, it is. So we'll go to one. Hang on one minute. Okay. So the next thing it says is. Adjust one, two, and three. And I have the diagram here. I'm going to try and see if I can do this with that. It's probably not the best quality, especially coming through the camera. Uh, <coughs> so I'll have to look at what one, two, and three are. They're going to be the top cans. And I can point those out. Once we get going, I'll open up the top. The top on this just opens, just sorry with the block in that. The top just opens like that. And by looking at this, looks like the can furthest in the back. And I'm going to look at this. I'm actually looking at it inverted. The thing I look at that, the power transformer is back to the right, so that would be there. So the can actually furthest and looks like the front is one. Gee whiz. They're a little bit hard to see. I might have to see if I can get a better view of this. Like a... Oh no, actually it's it's all it's all the cans on the top. There's one one, one one, two two, and three three. So it's actually all the cans on the top. It looks like I'll probably start with one would be the one closest to the front. So it's going to be this one. And then two is going to be the one all the way in the back would be that one. And then three is the one in the middle. So the first thing I want to see is if uh, the adjustments even move. So I need a regular screwdriver just to see if they move. I, I'm not worried about any induction. Oh, that moves nice. Very nice. Very nice. All right. They all seem to move very nicely. I was just watching uh, a post on Mr. Carlson's lab where he was referring to uh, aligning equipment. And uh, it was a good point he made. Make sure they all turn before you try and do your alignment because you may get halfway through it and then find out you got to tear something apart and then start your alignment all over again. So I'm going to pause this for a second while I get some more things ready. 
Okay, now the dog decided he wanted to lay down here beside the camera. So if you get a, a couple of jars from time to time, it'll be it'll be the, the little dog. Uh, so the next thing I want to do is looks like I want to put a 455 KC uh, signal to the stator plates on the center section of the tuning gang. So that's the tuning capacitor, and as much as I hate to do this because I don't like to jar the camera around, I'll point down to this so you can see it. So it's going to be inside, right there. That's the tuning capacitor. Now there's, there's two items on there, and you can see one set of plates is moving, they're rotating, so that would be the rotor, and the other set of plates is stationary. That would be the stator. So, let me put this back down. I'm going to have to couple a signal to that. Now, even though the instructions don't say to, I'm going to put a capacitor just in case because I don't want to blow up my signal generator. So I want a very small signal with that. So I'm going to just set that to 455 kilohertz. So let's see, four, five, five kilohertz, and amplitude, we'll set it down to I'm going to start with probably about as low as I can get it. So there's nine millivolts peak to peak, which they probably could go lower than that. I don't know if it's going to be necessary. So the ground lead we're going to put on the chassis ground on the chassis ground. Find a good place for that. All this metal and for the right spot. I don't want to confuse it with the, uh, the stator anywhere. So that looks like a pretty good spot right there. Just one of the brackets inside here. And I'll take this and run this up. The stator's the body of the uh, of the capacitor, so all I need to do is attach this side to the body of the capacitor. Watching that it doesn't hit off anything else. So I'll pull that out in front of us like that. <coughs> and let's see if we get anything. Okay. So now we'll turn the signal on. And we can see what we're attached to right here. That seems to be about right. Let me move this back to zero too. I'll zero that out as well. And let's see. Hold on one minute. Let's see if I get a better looking copy here. Okay, now apparently even on the computer it doesn't look a whole lot better, unfortunately. Uh, so let's see. We're going to connect the voltmeter to 
the speaker leads so that we can actually see the signal. I think I have that on there pretty good. Let's drop this way down. Pull this up to make sure that I'm not driving at all. Okay. Okay, dokie. So now I'm going to turn the uh, generator up a little bit till we start to hear some tone. Kind of hear something starting to come through. There it is. There. I don't know if you can hear it very well. It's at uh, actually it's one volt peak to peak. Let's see. I don't know if this is even showing anything here yet. Let me see what happens. We said that one was the one closest to the front. I have no idea what anything the uh, state of this tuning is, but let's let's see what happens. Definitely didn't move too much. You could hear the signal starting to go away. I, I'm going to turn this up a little bit louder. I don't want to overdrive it, but I think I'm far enough that that's not going to happen. But maybe you can hear it now. So now I'll go to the other side. There's actually two coils on each each one of these cans, so I'll be quiet. Okay, that, that one took a little bit. I'm trying to see, I think I'm below the threshold of what that meter is actually going to see. see. Yeah, unfortunately, as we go, then we said the rear one. So basically, I'm tuning it now just by ear without even looking at a meter. I, I can stop and get a a meter that will go lower. Again. So let me we'll put the Put a scope on it then. Let me adjust the other side. So all in all, so far the two the two cans that I've adjusted, only the one side was off. So let me put the scope on it. able to see it better or at all Isolation transformer, it is 
if I even think about connecting the ground to it, it immediately drops drops down. So let's see. Look at that little doggy. Rather than waste all this time, I'm going to pause it till I find something that'll work better so we can actually see what's happening.